welcome to Nostalgia Hit. In today's video, we look back at the cast of the 1995 romantic comedy While You Were Sleeping. We'll revisit the stars of the film and update them as of 2022. Enjoy the video. Bill Pullman played Jack. In 1995, Pullman was 41 years old. He was born on December 17, 1953, and is now 68 years of age. Since making his film debut in the 1986 comedy, Ruthless People, Pullman has been a fan's favorite, starring in films such as Spaceballs, Independence Day, and Lost Highway. His most recent role was in the fourth season of the crime mystery TV series, The Sinner, where he plays Harry Ambrose. Peter Gallagher played Peter. In 1995, Gallagher was 39 years old. He was born on August 19, 1955, and is now 67 years of age. Over the years, Gallagher has starred in over 100 film and TV roles, including The O.C., Law & Order, Special Victims Unit, and Californication. His most recent roles include recurring characters in the TV series, Grey's Anatomy, Grace and & Frankie, and the comedy series, Reboot, where he plays Tyler. Peter Boyle played Ox. In 1995, Boyle was 59 years old. He was born on October 18, 1935. He died from multiple myeloma and heart disease on December 12, 2006. He was 71 years of age. The award-winning actor will be best remembered for his role as the cantankerous but lovable Frank Barron in the comedy TV series Everybody Loves Raymond. Boyle's last role was in the 2008 drama film All Roads Lead Home, where he played Pooby. Boyle died before the movie's release, and it was dedicated to his memory. Also, did you know that Peter Boyle and ex-Beatle, John Lennon were best friends? In fact, Lennon was Boyle's best man when he married his wife to be Lorraine Alterman in 1977. Jack Warden played Saul. In 1995, Warden was 74 years old. He was born on September 18, 1920. He died of heart and kidney failure. On July 19, 2006, he was 85 years of age. Warden starred in over 160 film and TV roles, picking up a BAFTA nomination and two Academy Award nominations along the way. He won an Emmy for his performance in the 1971 film, Ryan's Song, where he played coach George Hollis. Warden's last acting role was in the 2000 sports comedy, The Replacements, where he played Edward O'Neill. Glynis Johns played Elsie. In 1995, Johns was 71 years old. She was born on October 5, 1923 and is now 99 years of age. Johns was an award-winning actor, starring in almost 100 film, television, and stage roles. She was also a dancer, musician, and singer, and is one of the last surviving stars from the golden age of Hollywood. Johns retired in 1999, after a career that spanned more than six decades. Her last film role being the 1999 comedy romance, Superstar, where she played Grandma. Michael Mercurio played Midge. In 1995, Mercurio was 57 years old. She was born on March 10, 1938. She died of a non-communicable disease. On January 19, 2016, she was 77 years of age. Initially an actor of stage, Mercurio didn't take up film and television acting until in her 40s. Her credits included Flashdance, The Quiet, and What Lies Beneath, among others. Her last role was in a 2009 episode of the sci-fi mystery series, Flash Forward, titled Gimme Some Truth, where she played Maureen. Jason Bernard played Jerry. In 1995, Bernard was 56 years old. He was born on May 17, 1938. He died of a heart attack. On October 18, 1996, he was 58 years of age. Bernard is best known for his recurring roles in V, and V The Final Battle, Cagney and Lacey, and Herman's Head, where he played Mr. Paul Bracken for over 70 episodes. His last acting role was in the 1997 fantasy comedy, Liar Liar, where he played Judge Marshall Stevens. The movie was released after his death and dedicated to his memory. Michael Rispoli played Joe Jr. In 1995, Rispoli was 34 years old. He was born on November 27, 1960, and is now 61 years of age. Rispoli starred in the first season of The Sopranos, where he played Jackie Aprile. He also played recurring roles in Magic City, Billions, and The Deuce, among many other shows. Rispoli's most recent role was in the 2022 crime drama TV series, Power Book 3, Raising Conan, where he plays Sal Baselli. Allie Walker played Ashley Bacon. 
In 1995, Walker was 33 years old. She was born on August 25, 1961, and is now 61 years of age. Walker appeared in numerous films and recurring TV roles. She is best known for playing Andrea Bedford in the TV series Santa Barbara and Dr. Samantha Waters in Profiler. Her most recent role was in the 2020 musical drama film When We Kill the Creators, where she plays Walker. She has also just written and released her own film titled Far More, which is now available to stream online. Monica Kina played Mary. In 1995, Kina was 15 years old. She was born on May 28, 1979, and is now 43 years of age. Kina appeared in a number of television and movie roles, including the lead as Liliana Lily Hoffman in 1997's Snow White, A Tale of Terror. She also played recurring roles in the TV series Dawson's Creek and Undeclared, and also voiced several characters in the animated MTV series Beavis and Butthead. Ruth Rudnick played Wanda. Rudnick's age at the time of filming is unknown. Rudnick guest starred on numerous television shows, including The Gina Davis Show, Spin City, and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Her last acting role was in a 2006 episode of the TV series NCIS Naval Criminal Investigative Service titled Light Sleeper, where she played Gina Goodwin. She is also a writer and improviser. Marsha Wright played Celeste. Wright's age at the time of filming is unknown. Wright's film and TV roles include Soul Food, Barbershop, and Girlfriends, among others. Her most recent role was in the 2018 crime drama film The Hate You Give, where she played Tammy. She is married to film director George Tillman Jr. and is founder of I Am Marsha Tillman Actor Studio. Sandra Bullock played Lucy. In 1995, Bullock was 30 years old. She was born on July 26, 1964, and is now 58 years of age. Known for films such as Speed, The Net, and Miss Congeniality, Bullock has also spent a lot of her time behind the camera as an executive producer with credits including The Proposal, Bird Box, and The Lost City. Her most recent acting role was in the 2022 action comedy, Bullet Train, where she played Maria. She also told Hollywood Reporter in a recent interview about her decision to step back from acting, saying she's exhausted and burnt out and wants to take a break to focus on her children. Sandra Bullock has starred in films such as Speed, Miss Congeniality, and The Proposal, to name a few. But, which is your favorite Sandra Bullock film? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Nostalgia Hit. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Why not watch another video listed on the screen now? Until next time.